Uh, I'm a school teacher, and um, I often, the way I rationalize it to myself, is that I run my class a lot more like Rodimus than like an author. Um, <laughs> this is the coolest school teacher. <laughs> Um, and my question is, um, in terms of your, your viewpoint on it, um, where do you see so far, not spoiling anything in the future, do you see Rodimus's sort of arc as a character as realizing that he's a bad leader, or um, it being demonstrated that he's a bad leader, or more that he isn't an optimist style leader, and that there's some there's some, something to be said for the way that he does things. Yeah, wow, okay, that's a good question. I could talk for a long time about it. Um, I, I've said this before and it's been, it's been rubbished, but, um, but in many respects, the whole of More Than Meets the Eye slash Lost Light is, is Rodimus's story, even, even if he's not front and center, even if the likes of, Meg when Megatron comes along and becomes, becomes central to proceedings, it's, it's still Rodimus's story because it's about how he reacts and how his behavior changes. So with that in mind, I think, you know, he's, he's just the spine of the story. So we're going to see things. We're going to con continue to see things through Rodimus's eyes and how they affect him. Um, a bit like, see, the thing is, you get, well, it's easy to be seduced by fiction into thinking that you get closure and you get, you get development and you get, and you get this neat um, progression. A bit like real life, actually, sometimes in terms of, you know, the, the direction of history. Um, you tend to think, oh, there's, there's things will become more civil and, and, and more, more liberal and, and, you know, and then something happens and, and you take a big step back. And it's a bit like that with Rodimus, you know. Um, as, as, as neat as it would be to, ha to have him follow a steady progression of, um, you know, each time I become a little bit self more self-aware and I amend my ways a little bit more and become a bit of a better person um, until I, I'm redeemed or whatever. But his, his path is a bit messier than that. And he knows, and this is the thing, he knows it is. And the, I think, what was it, issue seven? He says as much to, uh, to, to Drift, doesn't he? He says, you know, I think Rodimus is actually one of the most self-aware characters on the ship. Um, and that's not necessarily a good thing because, you know, he doesn't like himself that much. Um, and I think if you go back to the, the annual, you know, back in 2012, again, he's on the intercom to Ratchet. He, it's, it's a bit of a parallel to what you saw in issue seven of Lost Light. He knows, he knows um, where his failings are. He doesn't know all of them. He's got blind spots, but he generally knows that he could do better and he tries to do better and the limitations of his character as he sees it prevent him from, from succeeding and that becomes a bit of a vicious circle because he sort of beats himself up again. But he masks it all behind this, this bravado. He knows he's charismatic and that's his crutch really. Thank you so much. Okay.